Okay guys, so you've got that big heavy fishing kayak, or if it's not heavy, it's clunky, wide, you know, a little bit awkward to carry. So you need a cart to carry it to and from the water, to and from your vehicle. And you've heard a lot of us say, and myself included, do not use a scupper hole cart. Uh, it can create, you know, create some damage, uh, just some issues long-term that you just really don't wanna mess with. Yak Attack may have solved that problem. So I'm gonna go over that product here today. As always, thanks for coming by guys, and let's get right into it. Okay guys, so what you see here, this is the Yak Attack Tow and Stow Scupper Cart. So why is a scupper cart any of importance to me? Well, typically I don't like them. Typically I usually uh, shift people away from them and onto the bar carts, uh, which you're talking about the wilderness system carts. You're talking about, you know, Yak Attack makes a bar cart that's really, really nice as well. So just to kind of go a little bit in the history of why I'm not a big fan of these carts, because typically when people are buying a cart is they're wanting to transport their heavier kayak because again, it's heavy, it's bulky, it's hard to carry it to and from your vehicle to the water and vice versa by yourself or even with a friend. So they'll buy something like this because it saves them a little bit of money, but then they start taking in water. They start wondering, okay, I don't see any holes or any gouges. Well, what happens on these is the rods that go up through your scupper holes, so here's your kayak hole, your scupper rods go up through here, and then when you go forward and backward, it kind of bores out that scupper tube, because your scupper tubes are just meant there for drainage. They're just that. They're tubes that are molded into the hull of your kayak, and just for that water drainage, allowing that water to self bail, if you will. But if you, they're not meant for stress. They're not meant to handle any kind of major weight. Now brands like Hobie, they do reinforce that scupper hole because they do sell a plug-in cart uh, that is kind of heavy duty. This one here, what this does is this allows the, it cradles the weight of the boat on these little rubber boots here. And what that does is that minimizes the movement you get from that. So you get a little bit more of a structurally sound scupper cart. So the scupper cart from Yak Attack comes in at $230. That's not cheap, but it is very well made. So if you're wanting a more low profile cart to carry with you out there on the water, some of the carts out there, including the Wildy cart, are a little bulky. Uh, you can break them down, but it takes a lot of time to do that as to where these can break down very easily, or you can simply turn them upside down and then plug them very much like the Hobie cart. Just plug them upside down. If you want to take the wheels off, you can do that. Stuff them in your front hatch or you know, in your black pack if you have room. Otherwise, you can just keep them on there. Another thing that I really like about this are the kickstands. So I've got the kickstands down here. It allows the cart to stand upright on its own. So if you have a lighter kayak, you can simply lift and then set it on top of there. And I'll show you how I do that here in just a bit and also show you how I do it to a heavier kayak uh, with the, you're still gonna tilt it up on its side, plug it in and then pull the kayak back up. But this one here, I like the, the airless wheels. These are very much like the sea tug wheels. They got kind of that grippy uh, rubber on the wheels. They are airless, so you don't have to worry about one going flat. The nice thing that Yak Attack has done on their wheels is the, uh, you've got this little bar here on the outside on the hub. That allows you to run straps from the outside of the wheel over the kayak and securing it even more. Uh, you can do that. I have, I haven't really seen a need to really do that much with this particular setup because the weight of the kayak on the bars is going to keep it on there pretty good. I would see a need for that if you're going down some really rough terrain. So rough terrain is a really interesting subject with this particular cart because Yak Attack actually on their carts has rated them. So you've got 450 pounds on the scupper cart here, which is the capacity of it, but it's actually trail rated for 300 pounds and it's drop rated for 200 pounds. That's substantial because that means it has been tested 
on very rough terrain. It's not going to fall apart. It's made to do that. So with a cart like this, if you're going on some rivers and creeks, you're not always launching from a nice, smooth, paved boat launch. Sometimes you gotta go down some trails. Sometimes you gotta go through some wooded areas to get to some of those fishing spots. Something like this can make a really big difference for you on that. So I like the product. Um, I would buy it personally. It's a good value. It's fully adjustable. You can adjust the width of the bars on the rail here that uh, basically your axle, for lack of a better, word, better, better term. You've got the wing nuts here. You just loosen them. You can slide these in and out. I like the kickstands. So because again, with a lighter kayak, you're gonna wanna just go over the top of that. The wheels are durable. They're heavy duty made. And really just a good, I wouldn't say minimalist, but a little bit more of a space saver than some of your bar carts Okay, so the technique that I'm fixing to do here, this is gonna be for a lighter kayak. You're not gonna to wanna to do this with a heavy kayak. That's gonna be the tip on its side, plug in and then pull over, which I'll go over here in a minute. This one here, I've got the Bonafide SKF 117. This is what I would consider a lighter kayak or a Hobie Lynx if you're into that, you know, if you got that kind of kayak setup. So what I do is I'm looking at the scupper holes that I want to put it on. And then I'm not going to put it literally parallel. I'm going to kind of kick it at an angle because again, you're going to have a pivot where I'm going to sit that on. And then with the kickstands, it allows it to set upright. I've just got it lined up. I'm going to do it at an angle. Uh, doing this a couple times in your garage or your driveway is going to help out a lot with this. And I'm just going to And just like that, knowing where your pivot is, it's going to be right where that cart's going to sit. You're just going to come up, put it over the top. Obviously, you don't want to just slam it down on top of the rods. You can kind of move it around a little bit, but it's going to be pretty close to where that needs to be. And then, of course, with these here, you've got the little prongs that come out when you pull up on these tabs. That's going to keep that from coming out when you lift it up. This is gonna be a lot more beneficial to use than a lot of the other scupper hole carts out there. It's a little better made, it is pricier, so keep that in mind. But with this here, with these here, that's gonna really kind of take a lot of the stress off of those scupper tubes and more onto the cart itself. So I, I, hope, I hope this has helped you out a little bit. If you have any questions on this product, let me know down in the comments. Also, if you're still watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Also, if you wanna check out our inventory online, go to OzarkMTC, that's MaryTomCharlie.com. I'll leave a link down in the description. If you wanna check out our inventory, we do ship certain items. So if you're, you know, if you're kind of a little farther away from a paddle shop and you're interested in buying something from us, check that link out as well. Okay, everybody, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, check out some of our other older videos where we do walkthroughs on kayaks and some other accessories. And uh, without further ado, we'll see you on the next video.